Hello and welcome to another Raggy's beer review. So, ooh, we're going over to Bellhaven in Scotland, owned by the Green King Company. Although they do seem to have some sort of uh, of their own uh, identity still, so which is a great thing, you know. Uh, I, I'm not really keen on big breweries buying breweries out, you know. I'm not, and it, it's happened in Nottingham. We've lost um, over the years, Omeos. Uh, Shipstons and Hardy and Ansons and um, so never really keen on that obviously if the business is going to fold anyway um, and someone's coming in to buy them to save them from you know just disappearing totally yeah I suppose that uh, better to better to keep the brand name going in some form than not but, yeah so anyway, from Bellhaven, this is their Bellhaven Black Scottish Stout. Um, 4.2% by volume. Bellhaven Black is brewed using fresh water drawn, drawn rather, from our own source together with Bellhaven's unique yeast. Local barley gently roasted imparts a subtle smoky aroma with a hint of sweetness. And a rich dark finish, bursting with true Scottish character. And like I said, I've had the Bellhaven box that came into uh, was it Lidl years ago, and some absolute bloody belting beers in that box. Um, yeah, some absolute crackers. So here we go. So neon black pour um, under a centimetre of white head. A hint of fruity on, on the aroma. Yeah, subtle hint of smoke as well on there. Smokiness rather. Much more smoky on the taste. Oh, so I was going to go out in the garden tonight, but it's chucking it down with rain. And you know something, when you've been out in it all day, you just want to sit down and do nothing. And then the bloody internet went off on the inside, so I, could, I was watching Captain Marvel, or half watching it. And the internet went off, so that kind of killed that. Ooh. So, yeah. I mean, so we're coming up to Easter, and we have had literally, possibly two or three, even anywhere near, nice days this year. Nice warm days, that is. Sitting outside, sitting on a, on the park days, and we're in April now. I mean, it's starting to get slightly worrying when you get all the way to April. And um, I've been on public parks, worked on public parks for 20 odd years middle of March, people are sunbathing, so, and it does seem to be getting colder and colder. Someone's at the front door. Who's at the front door? Oh, it's them bloody people, isn't it? This is the good thing about um, ring doorbells because, oh, somebody's answered the bloody door. And, oh, fucking hell, you dropped the ball up there. So you've got some lad doing his, uh, uh, whatever he's doing, selling stuff. And uh, it looks like he's been told to go do one. <laughs> good. Do you know you can do without it? I mean, I know people are doing a job, they're selling stuff, and you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's all good, but you don't want it. You know, we're a cost of living flipping crisis. Go around the rich neighbourhoods, you know, although the rich are the ones that 
you know, uh, won't open the door to you anyway. Got big long gates, don't even have the doors open. And you get to the stage where you want to put one of them notices on your front door that says, uh, so no cold callers. And then when they come to the door and knock on the door, say, excuse me, you see that notice there? Read it. Bye. And then lock shut the door, you know. We've done the charity thing over the years where, you know, you sign up to Oxfam and whatnot. They take so much a week out. And obviously, sometimes, you know, you're struggling for money. So when you get paid, and they always used to say to always get paid at a certain time of the month. Uh, you always say to them, please, you know, do not take any out early. Uh, a set time. What did they do? Two or three months on the road, took it out. That gave us, because we had no money in the bank uh, at the time, because the bills going out. And, uh, and um, yeah, that gave us... That put us into arrears, got charges. And literally, the banks at that stage, I'm not sure what they do now. I've had my wife's come up with deals with the banks now, so they can't charge you. But at that time, the banks were being, this was TSB as well, Robin bastards. Um, and uh, we were getting fine after fine. And so in the end, we had to cancel all of these, any charity things. And then they come to the door and say, sorry. We're not even ever going to sign up. And let's be fair, people coming to your door wanting you to sign up to some subscription service or sign up to charity, say, sorry, uh, I work for an IT firm. I don't sign up for anything over doors. Says, I don't know you. You could be fake. It's not never going to happen. I'm sorry, you know, you come to the wrong door. It don't happen. It's not happening. And do that. Don't ever be fooled by the fact that there are people, unscrupulous people, that can act as somebody. Anybody can make a fake ID, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, and with a fake phone number where you ring up and say, Excuse me, I've got Georgie Best here, and uh, he, he, he's from your charity, and uh, can I just verify if he is? Yeah, 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 he's got a dark hair, and uh, and some 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 blokes thinking, yeah, he got you. Anyway, um, and as you could see on the front, there's my blooming BMW sat there. Uh, it's going in tomorrow to be assessed. So although we're paying sixty quid just for someone to tow it, that's without the price of someone assessing it. It just, uh, wife's jumping on the gun a bit there, but I can't tell people at times. Um, technically, they've still got to wait till the, the end of April, but I hope is what it is. Um, so I'm liking the smokiness of this. It's not too heavily smoky, just a nice, subtle smokiness. And it's, uh, yeah, it's going down well. It's um, not a bad beer at all. Like I say, Belle even, I've had some of their, I've had their box set with six different beers, and I think it was about 12 quid, or was it nine quid? I'm not sure. I think it might have been nine quid, actually. And uh, I think they're all three 30 mil bottles, ranging in ABV from about four and a half to about seven and a half. And there were some absolute crackers amongst them. Um, like I say, going down well. Um, oh. I'm wary that I'm about five days ahead. For, no, well, not even that. With shorts, bit short videos. Um, possibly two weeks in, in advance. I've got two weeks worth already sitting on my phone ready to be posted. And in normal videos, I, I'm, I'm 
um, about two or three days in advance and it gets to the stage where you've got that many beer reviews stocked up and uh, yeah I mean the great thing is we're doing cask beer reviews these days I'm getting beers from breweries I've never ever seen never seen in bottle or anything like that so so it's a good thing, you know, it is, it is a good thing. Um, albeit there's only so much you can, there's only so many breweries and so many beers you can review um, before it gets overly repetitive and that. And uh, where a hobby becomes too much. And uh, sometimes I do feel that, I do feel that the hobby uh, has gone too far. Uh, it, it's a good hobby, mind you, but sometimes um, you think to yourself, should I just calm it down? And uh, then, I, then I don't anyway. I mean, it's like tomorrow, which is Thursday, but this is filmed on a Wednesday. You'll probably see this on Friday, or even tomorrow on Thursday. But yeah, it is what it is. There's, like I say, that I'm, I'm, I'm literally a few days in front, so. Um, but tomorrow I'm going out to a tap takeover, a local tap takeover, craft beer brewery tap takeover. Um, and I'm looking to pick up some, I need to take my bottles with me, so I'm going to bring some, bring some back, uh, a couple of thirds back with me. Because uh, obviously, you, can, you know, pint and half and that's about as much as I dare risk in this day and age, uh, although it's low ABV, but there are there are some couple of biggies and that, that I'll do a proper review at home. Um, but, um, I forgot what I was saying there, yeah. Yeah, being ahead and that. And these days, I, I've not only got the beer reviews, the, the cask stuff, I've got all the homebrew stuff as well. So I'm rocking it from all sides at the moment. And then now and again, the odd wine review uh, or spirit review, when, whenever they seem to pass into my hands, usually when somebody gives me a bit, uh, what's left over of a bottle or something, or or the wife says to me, oh, uh, finish this Bailey's off. So, and uh, obviously, accordingly, I will, you know. But uh, it's all good fun. All, all good fun on the old beer review spectrum, as it were. So yeah, enjoying this. Hope everyone else is. I'm really, really ready for spring now. Um, again, last today has has been a setback with the weather. It's been bloody cold and wet. Don't get me wrong. After last year, where it was dry, we had a dry spring, and then a little bit of rain, and then a ridiculously dry summer. It is nice to see a good bit of wet, more moisture in the ground. Um, however, you know, there's, uh, there's the fact that it's not warming up quick enough. And uh, the fact you're heating, you want your heating turned off by now. And uh, it's still too bloody cold. Um, and the, the rich Tory government are laughing, laughing all the way. And it's good to see that the, the MPs are are getting shown up for what they are, which is a bunch of crooks. Um, although, uh, Nicola Sturgeon's husband's done the same, hasn't he? Or something along them lines, anyway. Uh, not a good day for the SNP in Scotland. And I suppose it all comes out in the wash, doesn't it? Um, at some stage in, 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 in history. A bit like the war in Iraq, the first war for the weapons of mass destruction. Someone was telling porcupines there. Or they were well, it's, they, were, they were already got rid of before the game over. So anyway, black pour, nice level of smokiness. It's a nice drinking stout. Um, if you like a smoky beer, this is 100% down your straight street rather. If you don't like a smoky beer, then this will not be down your street. It's as simple as that, really. Uh, for me, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the smoky element. 
But like I say, I've had some great beers from Bellhaven. Could have sworn I've had a mild at some stage, but I'd have to Google it, and I'm not Googling it right now. But um, yeah, a good 4.1 out of 5. Really enjoyed that one. Thank you for watching. See you soon.